Now this is a frozen image of uh, uh, 24 weeks gestational age fetus. What you are seeing is, this is the hand of the fetus, this is the eye, this is the eye, nose, and uh, you are, we are not able to see uh, rest of the head. You see, this is, these are the facial features of the uh, fetus. Now, isn't it, it, it is, uh, it is giving a frog eye appearance and that is seen in Anne and Caffelli. This is a case of Anne and Caffelli as facial reflectors are seen, eyes are seen, facial bones are seen, but the head is not uh, formed and uh, fish, here you see, these are the facial features. There you see the hand as well. This is the hand of the fetus and the wrist, the fingers. These, this is the eye, this is the eye. And uh, with it you see now here at the neck region we do see a multi-layered cystic area which is meningomyelocele and uh, this one. This is meningomyelocele. There is fully hydromyose. That's all of the uh, ultrasound studies are remarkable. This is the placenta. The umbilical cord is two or two, one vein. Here we are. Fetus is hyperactive and uh, it's not unusual to see hyperactive fetus in uh, cases of uh, Anne and Caffelli. Now this is a case of Anne and Caffelli with uh, meningeal seal and you see the resistive index is 0.83, highly days resistive index that of the umbilical artery. So moving further into the study, once review for you, this is a brief presentation. Polyhydramnios. <coughs> this now I this is the eye and uh, frog eye appearance. This is the frog eye appearance, that of the face of the fetus. And uh, the brain is not seen. In place of that, we see uh, a multi-layered structure. which is a meningomyelous seal, here it is. This is the meningomyelous seal. This is the meningomyelous seal. However, the possibility of protrusion of, protrusion of the uh, brain tissue from the head cannot be ruled out. Well, same patient, I have uh, 
present the image to show you this fraught eye appearance of uh, of uh, Anne and Caffelli with which this fetus is suffering from. As you can see, the two eyes in this uh, in, in this image in front of you. Now, on the other side, uh, you see I have shown you that uh, this is the coralline of the vertebral column. This one. This is the coralline of the vertebral column and it is opened up spina bifida and you can see a multi-layered cystic area extending from its coralline <coughs> sorry and this is uh, spina bifida with meningomyelo seeds in a patient which that is suffering from uh, you know, polyhydramnials and and capelli, spina bifida and meningomyelitis. Thank you very much.